This will hopefully be a relatively short video that's a demonstration of this Google Sheet, which is named Easy Transfer and Inventory Records. This is my second version of this. I'm Dennis Buckmaster, a professor of Ag and Biological Engineering at Purdue. I also serve as a Dean's Fellow for Digital Agriculture. And this particular tool, you may access for free, make a copy, customize it for your own use. It's currently set up to handle situations such as moving grain from one location to another, but you could easily adapt this to deal with transfers of inventory from any place to any place by just customizing the sheet, and I'll walk through that. But first, just to demonstrate its use, let's suppose I was going to move some grain from silo to, uh, it is, and you'll notice these are drop-down boxes, Aaron, let's suppose Aaron was my name, I'm going to use this particular vessel, the center unload trailer, and at the moment it's 100% full. I've set it up, that's where it's coming from, who's doing it, what are we using, how full is it? And I'm gonna move that material to elevator B. And you'll notice that it automatically updated some balances and the capacity of the trailer. So then in Google Sheets, it's running a script, which in Excel would have been a uh, macro, but you simply click here to record a material transfer. You'll see that it's running a script. And actually there's an intermediate step here because on a mobile device, it's easy to accidentally hit the wrong thing. So you get to look at this and say, is this what you're doing? Oops, cancel that. I did not mean to do that. Or yes, I'm going to confirm the transfer. So I'll click confirm the transfer. I'm making a record of what I'm doing. And so there is a transfers log, which will show up, which will be a uh, top is the most recent entry. And then all of those previous activities will scroll down on the page as you do a new transfer. So there is a log of what carrier, who did it, what time and date, how much was moved, what was the destination, what was the previous destination balance, what's the current balance. What was the origin? What was the previous balance in that origin? And what is the updated balance in the origin? That's on the sheet called transfers log. There's an inventory sheet that just continually keeps the uh, inventory up to date. So it shows when the last update was and as well as the, the updated balance. How does this work? Well, in sort of behind the scenes, there is a list of the operators. Those are the who the people might be that feeds the drop down box on the sheet called the interface. There is a list of carriers or vessels or containers. And so this is the, the vehicles that you might use to haul things. So you can populate this with up to 20 of each of those. And then here's just a simple table that populates the data validation for the percent full. So that's sort of behind the scenes. The other thing that's behind the scenes was this sheet called the background calculations, which actually fetches the information from the interface sheet, holds it here until someone clicks confirm transfer, and then updates the inventories and also generates the, an entry in the transfers log. All right, so let's go back to the interface. And let me just show what is uh, very much behind the scenes in tools. There are macros. There's a macro called confirm the transfer, oops, cancel. There's a macro called sort them in the locations and there's also a, a macro called start the transfer. The other thing you can do is take a look at actually the script or the macro that's running and you would do that at the script editor. Most of us would not be savvy enough to actually edit this code but this was generated by recording mouse and keyboard activities that make the automation happen. So just so that you know, it's there. You don't need to read that code, but if you want to alter it to do things slightly differently, you can either record new macros or edit those. So that's the tool. This is the spreadsheet view of that. And remember that here is the relatively simple interface. It looks a little awkward, but the reason for that is so that these cells that I've just highlighted, which are approximately the size and shape of a 
phone will look reasonably good. Uh, not flawless, not app-like quality, but they will at least be functional on a phone, so, uh, smartphone. So the things that you would use after the fact are either taking a look at the transfers log and then, of course, watching the inventory. If at any moment in time after using the sheet and, it, and then at some point you find out that or you actually inspect the, uh, the bin, the silo, and you see that the inventory is not right, well, you can simply just update it manually. And then from that point on, it will be a little bit more correct. So this is the PC view of the little tool called Easy Transfer and Inventory Records. This is the view uh, on my Android smartphone. There's the sheet called Easy Transfer and Inventory Records version 2. So let's open that. You might have noticed I'm opening it in the browser rather than the Google Sheets app. The reason for this is that Google Sheets does not allow you to run scripts. So you must use it in the browser. And I'm going to hit the three dots on the top right of my Chrome browser. And you'll see that I've checked the box that says Desktop Site. This means view it as though I were on a PC. So this is a little bit of a hack because I need to do that in order to run the scripts. So actually, this will require an internet connection either by cellular data plan, Wi-Fi, or tethering to some other device, but it allows me to fully use the features of that sheet on my smartphone. So that's a pretty horrible zoom level, but if I just double tap a time or two, then I can get over here into the uh, top left corner. So that it's not app-like in that it's a wonderful view, but it's actually very functional. So I can do the, uh, the data validation and choose a different operator. I can choose a different container, can scroll around a little bit. Uh, we'll still move to elevator B. And now you'll watch and see when I hit record a material transfer, it's going to attempt to run that script just like before. Do I want to, oops, cancel, did I accidentally hit that arrow, or do I want to confirm it? So if I confirm the transfer, it'll run yet another script, generate the transfer record, and also update the inventories. And just to show that, we'll go back to the PC view so that you can see that I did indeed have Sally use the red wagon to make a transfer. Just to wrap up the demonstration, we're back on the PC view, and you'll see that the most recent setting was Sally with the red wagon. And if I take a look at the transfers log, I see that Sally used the red wagon to make a transfer, and there it is. So that's your uh, brief introduction to this very simple uh, spreadsheet-based inventory and transfer records generator. I hope it's of use to you.